Chico, table. Most natural thing in the world. Leaving the womb. Going back to cold reality. So naturally, what do you do? You relive the whole thing in a dream. In a way, it's even funny. Yeah, it's hysterical. You watching the time? You're all right. The car's downstairs. I'll just have to get myself back into harness. My mind into something else. Good idea. Of course, you don't want to overdo it. Not right away, anyway. You got that prescription? Right next to my heart. Don't be afraid to use it. Things are apt to feel a bit strange at first. The trick is not to panic. All I need is a little work. So, all set? You ready? No, but uh, I'm going to go anyway. Remember, easy does it. Think of the mind as a weave, Harry. A fabric. Some of your threads happen to get a bit overstretched. We don't want to put too much pressure on the thin spot. Not right away. Phillips, a worked city band. Hey, hold it, fellow. What's the trouble? You gotta do better than that. What's the trouble? Who sent you? Hey, come on. It was a guy in a blue suit. He wasn't within ten feet of you. He didn't push like a suit. Nobody tried to push you, Bunny. You stumbled. Attention, ladies and gentlemen. This train pulling into the southbound platform is a local train. Somebody smell his breath. Making all stops in between. Please stand back. The train has come to a halt. Please do not crowd forward. This is the local train to New York City. I repeat, the local train to New York City. I'd 
like to see something suitable for a young girl. I see. Uh, may I suggest a popular choice? All right. Sunset Rose. It's our own product. I like it. Shall I write it up for you? Why not? there all day? No, 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 no. You see, you must have pulled out the wrong tube. There are thousands of tubes down. I mean, it's only a natural mistake, right? I'm sorry, sir. It's the only <coughs> sunset rose we carry. Now, if you'll excuse me, you see, I know once your base is dry, then you can add yeah, your yeah, highlight. No, no, there's not a good color for you. Yeah, rose. Uh, no, no, I think we have a, 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 a peach. Peach, color. peach is me. Oh, yes. Yeah. Assignment. Maybe there was nothing available. Maybe, uh, maybe you weren't expected. No. Harry, Harry. How are you? I don't know. How is Harry Harry supposed to be? I'm so sorry about Dorothy Harry. I really am. Thank you. Listen. I'm meeting my sister here. I want to know and if something's going down that I don't know about. Such as? Such as the hair on the back of my head's been standing up all morning. Someone made a run at me in Connecticut. Then I come down here and I get this. It's like listening to a lot of bad jokes, only I don't get the punchline. Uh, Cynthia. Uh, uh, Cynthia Harry? Harry, uh, Cynthia. How do you, How do, you do? do? Listen, um... <laughs> There's probably some word waiting for you at home. All tied up in pretty pink ribbon. <laughs> Don't call us, we'll call you. Listen, um, we really have to go. <laughs> we're, we're trying to just go down the block. Adrian. How's Dave Quiddle? You better watch out for Dave Harry. Take care. Who's that? Some guy who hangs around. His name's Harry. I don't know his last name. Weird.
sometimes it rumbles, it groans, it squeaks, it shudders. It's never what it's supposed to do, or for that matter, when. Well, since I defrosted the damn thing, it's not speaking to me at all. Well, you're not the same. Four marks. Now try this. Essay, 20 points. What are you and your menagerie doing in my apartment? Your apartment? You mean my apartment? Look, would you please leave or I'll call the police? Uh, maybe I better repeat the question. Look, I don't know what you're trying to pull, but I'm due at the museum in 20 minutes and I'll never make it uptown. 18 minutes. Please, do not let me stop you. Hey! Sorry, Kitty. Just a minute, my friend. I'm Ellie Fabian. You can check it with the Graduate Hall of Studies at Princeton. I arranged everything through the housing office at HGS. I paid a deposit, plus security, plus a month's rent. I have a canceled check here somewhere. It's a sublet for Mr. and Mrs. Hannon. Harry Hannon. Oh. You're the peacock. Whatever that means. I hope you don't mind. I had to move a few to make room for my things. No, that's all right. You do mind, don't you? Look, I'm sorry. I know it must be distressing to come home to the security of one's nest, one's retreat, and find someone else's effects strewn all over. Rather like a dog lifting its leg in your territory, if you'll pardon the metaphor. I certainly wouldn't like it myself. Well, as a matter of fact, it's bugging the living shit out of me, but I'm trying to rise above it. Now, look, it's very simple. You see, my firm owns this apartment, and when we're away, they sublease it. Obviously, somebody got their signals crossed, so you just hang loose, and we'll try to get it all straightened out. Look, Mr. Hannon. This is the key semester for my dissertation. I can't be running around between hotels like a gypsy. Besides, how do I know this is your apartment? How do I even know you're Hannon? Sometimes you have to remind it who's boss. If you'll pardon the metaphor. Now, I'll get everything straightened out. I promise. Well, I certainly wish you would. When they say that someone will be gone indefinitely, I... No, that's not the word they used. Well, they certainly did. No, no, they said temporary, temporary leave. Indefinite was the word they used. Oh, before I forget, this was left for you. I don't read Greek. It's not Greek, it's Hebrew. What's it say? I don't read Hebrew. I just know what it looks like. See, um, that's a gimel. It's like the Greek gamma. Of all Aramaic and Greek words share certain whoa, common characters. This is ridiculous bullshit. Who left this? I don't know. It was slipped under the door. Don't take out your ill temper on me. Why don't you go be mad at who you're mad at? Where's Mrs. Hannon anyway? Mrs. Hannon is dead. Well, Hannon, this is very embarrassing. You barge in here with some story about somebody trying to shove you off a platform. You see who it was? No. Anybody else see who it was? No. And you have him. We were behind it. Somebody did it. Couldn't be. Nobody knew you were getting out. Very sweet, getting out. You couldn't say coming back. Whatever you prefer, look. Easy for a few days. Get your sea legs back, your reflexes. Don't be so goddamn understanding, you supercilious son of a bitch. Subletting my apartment, 
Sending me blank assignments. Sending me crazy letters. I'm ready to go back right now, and you know it. I may have been on leave for a couple of months, but that doesn't matter. Can... Actually, it was three. Two. 116 days. There's no need to get snotty. Eckert. I need work. Hannon, you had a breakdown. You were in a sanitarium. It wasn't a leave, it was a breakdown. Why do you force me to say these things? Do you honestly think we'd send one of our people up to a railroad station in Connecticut just to push you under a train? Okay? Okay, now, I don't know what you think is going on, but it's not us. I just hope it's not you. Hannon, forget about this. We'll be in touch. Thanks. Quiet, please. 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 I don't want any fighting among the boys now. Come on. This is a synagogue. And this is serious. All right. Interesting. Interesting. Now, I don't get many requests like this, uh, Mr. Hannon. Hannon, yes. Mm -hmm. Where did your friend get this again? Well, he's not sure, to tell the truth. He's never seen anything like it before. I'm not surprised. Uh, tell me, uh, this friend of yours, is he Jewish? Rabbi, you embarrass me. I've never asked him. He, uh, he's in the government. Agriculture. Well, I would uh, say that he's the victim of a practical joke. The words are biblical Hebrew, Aramaic, actually. Goel Hadam. And that's a, what, a message saying what? It's a person, a very special person. Goel, Avenger, Hadam of blood. These other letters, the Z and the M, I can't do anything with. Uh, they could be uh, the initials of the so-called Avenger. They could be a uh, laundry mark. Could be anything. But for the rest of it, well, I suppose it's some sort of uh, death threat. Avenger of the blood, eh? Then the elders of his city shall send and fetch him thence and deliver him into the hand of the Avenger of blood that he may die. What's that from? Uh, Deuteronomy. It's uh, chapter 19, verse 12. We're talking about the time of the first temple. Uh, that's uh, 2,500 years ago. I, uh, I don't think your friend has much to worry about. Well, well, he'll be relieved to hear that. OK. Thank you very much, Rabbi. I appreciate your time. Uh, um, if, if I happen to come across anything else, where do I reach you? I'm in the book. Two ends. Sam, it's Josh Drexel. Yes, Josh, what's up? You better get on your horse. I've got a live one for you.
through this. Listen, Sue. This has to be calibrated on the button. What is that? It's a chemical bath to clean the artifact before carbon dating. Oh, you people do that too, huh? I'm not sure I like this. What kind of people am I? How did you even know where to find me? You're an anthropologist, physical, a little cultural on the side. You're also involved in the study of New York hookers. Prostitutes, Mr. Hannon. You're also compulsively cluttered, aggressively unattractive, and since you're not on the pill, you're either unattached or a firm believer in Russian roulette. What's that supposed to be, elementary, my dear Watson? I'm a little rusty, but there's more. You know, you left your whole life laid out in my apartment. Your clothes, your museum pass, your photographs, everything but the results of your last pap test. Oh, sorry, I'll send it to you. God, you're rude. Yep, and there's gonna be more. Here. What's that for? It's for a hotel. I want you out before dark. Before dark? Why? Never mind why. Just get out. Look, if you think I'm going to fold my tents and... I think somebody's trying to kill me. Now, I know this is not enough <laughs> cash, but you just give me an address and I'll try to see you get... see you get... see the... some... some... Ah! It's nitric acid! dark.
David Quittle, I believe. Hello, Anna. You looking for someone? Not especially. All right. You've had your nose up my ass all day. How's your chance? To do what? Whatever you want. Well, I'm doing that. I'm watching you and thinking about my sister. I couldn't help what happened there, Dave. You gotta know that. Hey, Dottie had no business being there. She was a secretary, for Christ's sake. You took her long as cover. You got it wrong. You always had it wrong. No, I never had it wrong. I told her not to marry you. You're careless with people, Harry. And one of these days is gonna... Dave! Catch... Poor Harry. He even got the sun at your back. Eckert wanted me to check you out, that's all. See if you're ready to go back to work. Yeah, Rocky Yard. Listen, you can't blame me for thinking that you... Harry, if I wanted you dead, you think you'd be walking around here? No way, man. You'd be laying over there my sister. The rest of the Hannons. Bye, Harry. Kill him. Threatening notes in biblical Hebrew? Aramaic. Aramaic! Look, Mr. Hannon, are you willing to entertain a constructive suggestion? No! I have a friend who might be able to help you. He's very I've naughty. been to a rabbi. Richard Peabody is not a rabbi. He's at Princeton. He's a professor in the theological seminary. His main field of concentration is biblical Hebrew. I'm sure he could give you some further help about the note or something. I, I'm going up there this weekend and I could introduce you. Look, look. <laughs> I, I owe you an apology. You see, <laughs> this guy I thought was following me, he's not following me. And, and the note, that, that, that comes from a, a burial society that probably wants me to light a devotional candle or something. Now look, can't we just forget about the whole thing? I take it you reject the suggestion. Look, what do you want to do? You want to travel 60 miles to talk to some... Button down, Professor. I mean, what the hell is that? What are you looking for in this? Who says I'm looking for anything? 
Who says I even want to stay here? Obviously, we both made a mistake. One of us has. I'd like you to know that I happen to have a warm relationship of long-standing, long-standing with someone at Princeton. It may be hard for you to believe, but I'm not interested in improvised sexual adventures. I don't need to prey on men in trouble. I never meant that. I heard it in your voice. Why, is there something about me that looks so hungry? You want to leave? You want me to leave? Take this off. Yes. It's me, Ellie. Ellie? Ellie. Ellie. Oh. 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 Ellie. You're soaking. Put, put this on. Dorothy, is that your wife? Yeah. Yeah. Are you all right? I was in a bar, a cantina right across from El Paso. I was down there waiting for a guy, a federal witness we relocated. Dorothy was in New York. She, Got some vacation time saved. It was snowing there. She wanted to come down. I didn't try and stop her. There's an old guy playing a violin in the cantina. It was late. A few other people. We had just finished our coffee when, when the guy I was waiting through her. Came through the front door two days early with a couple of friends. He spotted me. Dorothy saw my reaction. Friends started to go inside their coats. It happened so fast. I pushed her out of the chair. She tried to say something, and then... And the shooting started, and... And the whole place exploded. Then they were gone. You see? 
for a second. I thought she was all right. She was warm. She, she just seemed a little scared, that's all. So, so I, I went over to her and I put my arm underneath her and I... Oh, Harry, she said. Oh, Harry. I took my arm out and it was... And it was wet. Oh, Harry. She just kept saying that. She... She came down for a vacation. When my father died, I, I felt outside of everything. My doctor says that I resented father dying, abandoning me, but I didn't feel that way. I loved him. That's when I went to live with my grandmother. We became incredibly close. She had had the most amazing life, the most extraordinary experiences. She'd done everything. That's where I think I get my wild streak. No, I'm serious. Sometimes I think I'm quite depraved. Then she became very ill. She changed completely. I used to wake up at night and I would hear her screaming in pain. I felt completely helpless. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get so morbid. I didn't hear a single thing I said. Yes, I did. I heard every word. Morbid. Must be the company you keep. Well, I, I didn't mean to go on like that. It's not even one of my family's favorite stories. Hello? I'm going to go back for some coffee. You want some? Yes, please, Black. I, I don't mean for you to be running... No, 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 no. You didn't. Be right back. Sugar? You got it.
Richard Peabody, Harry Hammond. Hi, it's nice to meet you, Harry. How do you do? And I'm very sorry to impose on you. Oh, no, no, like no. On the contrary. I'm intrigued by your Goel Chadam note. Glad you could come down. Uh, well, uh, I'll leave the two of you alone. Where are you off to? I have a meeting of my own. Oh, Harry, you will stay for the HGS wine thing, won't you? I should go back. As no, soon as you shouldn't finished. miss it, Harry. There's nothing quite like a Hall of Graduate Studies wine thing. <laughs> okay. Good. I'll leave you to it. Um, she did tell you she's involved with someone here, didn't she? Words to that effect. Oh, good. You never know with Ellie. I was against this New York business. I didn't want her to go. But she's very vulnerable. Needs protecting, support. That's where you come in. That's where I come in, correct. Well, let's get back to the office. I'll see what I can tell you about that note. All right. Well, it's not very artistic, is it? Goel Chadam, Avenger of the Blood. So that's what they look like. I've always wait wondered... Wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. Wait. You mean there's been more than one of these? So I've been told. Then I'm not the only one? No. But don't despair. You do have a certain distinction. What's that? <laughs> you seem to be the only one who's still alive. these items gravitated to me, but from time to time at conferences or conclaves of Aramaic scholars or clergymen or Hebraicists, I would get wind of a scrap or two. To tell the truth, I never paid them much mind. The incidents all seem so unlikely. Incidents? Well, I... deaths, actually. I sit, sit. How many were there? Uh, four. No, five over the last, say, um, two years. If memory serves, I think the first was someone named... Luxick. Howard? Luxick, an accountant from San Francisco. He was at some urban management meeting in Los Angeles, and they found him washed up on a beach near a motel in Malibu, apparently the victim of a bad cramp. His widow came across a Goel note while going through his effects three weeks later. No, and the second? A man named Falcon, who owned a nursing home in Denver. They found him in Lake Mead. Suicide, had terminal cancer. Weeks later, the note turned up in his safe deposit box. Then someone named Morden sold insulating materials in Rochester, a hit-and-run driver. Another named Myers from Nashville, heart attack in a motel pool. Uh, the last was uh, three or four months ago. Monash, his name was, drowned on a canoeing trip. Mm, interesting, no guns. Mm, no, no. If you're to be properly killed by a goel, it has to be by one of the prescribed biblical forms laid down by the ancient court, the Sanhedrin, by fire, sword, stoning, or strangulation. I suppose, of course, there could be modern equivalents. Yeah, well, a hit and run could be stoning. And strangulation could be anything that affects uh, respiration, uh, drowning, pills, uh, poisons, pills, what have you. Water seems to be a popular favorite. What the hell am I talking about? I don't know any of these guys. I don't fit in anywhere. Somebody thinks you do, Mr. Hannon. Monash, Myers, Morden, Falcon, Luxick, and Hannon. requires a certain effort, don't you think? And what are these? Onyx? Garnet? Bloodstone. See? Little flecks of red. Oh, yeah. They're from Eva. Eva? My grandmother. Richard's always after me to dress more and make more of an effort. I personally don't care about jewelry much, except when I'm in the mood. I always try to get as many words into the last line. For what? <laughs> For a little more sherry. You may I replenish your glass, sir? Funny how words spread. 
Because there was a message this afternoon. Someone hoping to meet you in the tower courtyard at 3.30 tomorrow afternoon. Who? I don't know. How would anyone know to meet you through me? Uh, my secretary took the call and gave me the message. Will you be there? I don't know. Anyway, at least your time here wasn't wasted. Speaking of which, what have we here? Richard. picture. Bloodstone earrings and all. A little overdone for graduate school sherry, don't you think? Never mind the Washington. Or is it for the benefit of the New York delegation? Look, I, I only came up I'll go to I don't know. Don't spoil the picture. I think I just saw your friend Mr. Peabody behind us. Probably. Do you usually do that? Dump on you and then follow you home? Oh, I bet you're going to misunderstand what happened back there. I bet I'm not. It's just Richard's way. It doesn't mean anything. He's a brilliant man. I should be flattered that he wants me. That's what, a punching bag? It's not like that. It's not like that, huh? Oh, please, spare me your astonishment. It's what I've got, and I'm happy with it. I don't believe I'm hearing this. Look, I do not do well with men. I never have. I, I seem to say the wrong things. I make everything complex and difficult. I. I'm like someone at her first dance. I'm terrified. It's just the way I am, and there's nothing I can do about it. Listen, I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I'll tell you this. Without your usual Miss Librarian disguise, you're really a very attractive woman. I mean, you're bright, you're sweet, you... You never had a place in ad in the personal column, have you? I just have this conference tomorrow morning. If you want, I can go with you to Tower Courtyard at 3.30. No, 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 that's all right. Well, will you at least be careful? Sure, I will. You promise? It crossed my heart. should be around right now, that's all. That's not you. It's me. You get that? I see. Do you? We always seem to be one apartment short. Will you be all right until tomorrow? I'll find a room. And then I'll see you back in New York, okay? Be back the day after tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll find someplace else to stay. Take your time. Listen, will you see that Kitty gets enough water and food? Sure. The dry stuff. The dry stuff. And Gerald, too. Gerald, too. And the fish. Good night, Ellie. Richard. You frighten me sometimes, Ellie. <sighs> you frighten me very much.
Come on, Harry. Last chance, Harry. Blew it, Harry. Her away. Who the hell are you? Sam Mardell. The committee told me to keep tabs on you after you saw the rabbi. But I'm getting too old for this kind of bullshit, let me tell you. What committee? What are you talking about? You think every committee has to blow itself all over the New York Times with a big ad list of bullshit sponsors? It's a committee committee, that's all. Five Jews get killed by a lunatic leaving Hebrew notes. Naturally, you gotta have a committee. But you don't know the worst. This ain't the guy who's after you. This ain't Goel. When Monish was killed on that canoe trip, your pal Quittle here was in Europe. Here. This was left in Monish's cabin. Your name is on the back. What is it? Luncheonette. That's luncheonette. I never saw it before. Where does it fit in? I don't know. I got people out of Berlin during the war, ran grenades in the Tel Aviv in 1947, helped chase Ackman, but this one has got me beats. Trying to figure a luncheonette. Uh, uh, Where is it? Lower East Side. I've been there 20 times. I never heard of you. I'm going to check you out, Odell. So check. I will. You do that.
what could this place have been? What the hell was it? So? We gotta go deeper. What the hell are you doing? Cool it, cool it. of the east side. A moment of reverence, please. Fifty years ago, this was the very place I lost my cherry. Rabbi Jacobs? Yes, sir. May I help you? I'm Sam Arbell, and this is Mr. Hammond. Oh. How do you do? How do you do? I understand uh, you wish to use our library. Yes, sir. Sam! Sam! Max Hannon, secretary of the V. McDowell. I knew Grandpa was in real estate, but I didn't know he ran a whorehouse. A house? Try 20 or 30. Running a string of houses was big business in those days. Hearst owned a few, so did Trinity Church. Everybody was in on the business. The wasp, wops, yidlach, everybody. Enter Max Hannon. You got it. But remember, Men like him were shut off from their own community. Who's going to sit in the synagogue next to a whoremaster? So they formed their own organization, legally incorporated the works, called Svi Migdal, Big Power. And the face of it was supposed to be like any other mutual aid society, to help sick members, to maintain a cemetery section, and so on. But the real object was to handle the law, run the houses, and import the girls. I think I used to sit on the lap of that old bastard when I was a kid. <laughs> you got a weird sense of humor. Well, I mean, white slavery, these are my roots. Oh, you government guys, you think the only causes are on the cover of Time magazine? Bullshit. What about the private wars? All the personal revenges that go on in the dark of somebody's head. What about that? Okay, Sam, okay. What about... Morton, Monash, Lutzig, Myers, what about these guys? Okay, we look at them.
shit, I thought you'd fallen in. Look, Eva. You're a swell girl, but I... I think you better go. <sighs> Crapping out, huh? Oh, no, no. No, it's just... My wife, she gets upset if I don't come back. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> we stayed in that bar too long. <laughs> I guess I had a few, huh? <laughs> well, you see, Bernie, I like to rub asses a little. You know? Um, get acquainted first. But whatever you say, Hey, well, why don't you stay? <laughs> I don't want this on my conscience. I'm stay. Are you sure? Because here's what I think. What? What? I think you're just a scared little Bernie Mackler. <sighs> No, yes, no. I think you're scared. Little wifey got you whipped, huh? No, stay. I know what you really want to do. Mm-hmm. You want to tell me? Tell me. Hey, hey, where are you going? Where, where are you going? Hey, Eva, where are you going? I'm going to take a bath. Freshen up a little. I, 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 I thought we were going to have a little action. Come on, Eva. How about it? It's a big tub. That's not fair. You're supposed to take everything off. You still got your earrings on. Mm -hmm. I don't want to. Mm -hmm. What? No, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Me yeah. first. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Then me. And you second. Fabulous Miss Fabian. Aha! Compliments of the house. What's this for? It's for you. This too. Uh, you shouldn't have. A... Well, I'll take this with me. Take it with you. What's all this? 
this about? I'm finally giving you a break moving out. No, you're not. It's silly. It's time. Why? I don't know. I'm afraid of what will happen if I stay. I'm not afraid of what will happen if you stay. In fact, I'm counting on it. I have to sort things out with Richard. You better sort things out with me first. Now listen, Ellie. When I said you were good for me, I meant it. Why can't I be good for you? We tried. Yeah, but that was then. And this is now. What are you doing? Get away somewhere. Where? Does it matter? No. Just Harry and Ellie. Hey, want this? Yeah. Go. Harry, it's me, Sam. What's wrong, Sam? They hit a guy named Meckler up in Niagara Falls. Meckler. Meet me at Rabbi Jacobs tomorrow at 9. Rabbi Jacobs. You have tracked down the last stuff we need. Fine, Sam. Right. I'm scared for you, Harry. Don't be Sam. Be scared. But with the initials ZM, that's the only clue they have. So they're looking for an attractive young woman, perhaps a prostitute, with the initials ZM. That's all we know now. The body is off to the morgue and the investigation continues. I'm Gary Gunner, News 4, Niagara Falls. It looks like this Goel has knocked off a descendant of every major Sweet McDowell family except. Ah. except. Hey, you could guess it. Now, Meckler. Is from Boston. So the New England book is supposed to be. It's supposed to be. Here we are, the Jews of New England. Oh, sorry. We had a request last month to borrow that particular volume. Could you tell us who borrowed it? Of course. The Firestone Library, Princeton University. Peabody. In New Jersey. It's over two. Yes, that volume is presently in Carol 629. But 629, I got it. I don't know if anybody's up there. Better watch for Peabody. You got it.
Professor, Professor Peabody. The book you ordered came. Oh. Would you hold that door, please? Can I help you? Oh. You're Peabody, aren't you? Do I know you? I'm a friend of Anna's. I see. I didn't know Mr. Hannon was in town. scared me. Did I? I'm sorry. Is anything wrong? No. Why don't you get dressed? It's time for our trip. Just Harry and Ellie? Just Harry and Ellie. <laughs> Aren't you going to answer the phone? Dry off. We're wasting time. Operator. 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 Operator, get me the police. Tell me where we're going. Trust me.
relax. I'm relaxed. Take it easy. Why don't you tell me some more about Eva? Your grandmother, your father's mother, your great-grandmother's daughter. The one who gave you the earrings, the one you lived with when you were a little girl. Why do you want to know? Well... Not now, Harry. Let's not talk, let's just drive. that for? Have to look my best, don't I? But there's nobody here. You are. through a stop sign. Did I? What's wrong with you, Harry? We're familiar, Ellie? Huh? We're familiar? Harry? Harry! Stop the car! Watch out! Put these in with the diarrhea, didn't you? Yes. No, I love you. Me? I'm just another guy on the list, right? You moved in to kill me. You came looking for me, didn't you? Just like Meckler and Monash and all the others. Oh! <laughs> oh thank 
Got it, Harry. Poor young girl in a ghetto town in Europe. One day, a handsome stranger appears and promises to marry her in America, where the streets are paved with gold. He gives her a ticket. She comes over steerage Ellis Island. Where's the stranger? Don't worry. There's another stranger who knows a place where she can stay. Now they lock her in a room. The men come in, and they screw her, and screw her, and screw her. And they turn her into a whore. Fifteen, and her fate is written. To die screaming, her brain eaten away by syphilis. You're a killer, Ellie. So is your grandfather. He's dead. Who will punish him? Yeah, I'm next, and that makes it even, right? <laughs> I'm taking you back, Ellie. We got a lot of places to see today. Up here on your left, you'll notice Thomas Hart Benton's painting of Father Hennepin viewing Niagara Falls. Everybody keep moving, a lot to see. Let's keep it going. Come on, Mr. and Mrs. Ross, let's step it up a little. Okay, beautiful. Very interesting. Okay, on to the falls. Let's keep moving, folks. Okay, everybody in my group, let's catch up. Don't leave anybody behind.
Sirs, first door on the left. I'm gonna take you to a place, uh... Be careful, we have fun. Hey, hey, hey you! Shoot her! I made his most daring rescues. Point right over... Oh, there's the, uh, falls. Beautiful view of the falls from here. Dumping millions of gallons on that rock bed below a minute. Anyway, I'm gonna take you on a very treacherous trip. We're gonna go as close to the falls as possible. We're gonna put on some raincoats. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 